Part four of what makes uh, enums in Rust super cool is that uh, you can use them to sneak in multiple types into things like vex and arrays. Like you know how a vec has to be, you know, a vec of strings or a vec of, uh, and you, you can have, you know, multiple types if you have like a vec of, you know, three u8s, that's fine, but there can only be now, uh, you know, tuples of three u8s. So, uh, you know, vex and arrays have to have the, each item has to have the same type, but an enum can let you, uh, sneak them in because you know an enum is a type so i'll show you how that works you um let's say we have an enum called number and uh we want to call it uh let's say u32 and uh, i32 so we're going to uh and then we're going to sneak in an uh, an actual u32 into it and inside here it will be an i32 and uh so yeah these now we can take a, um, no, we can make a vec of number, for example. And uh, every every item we put into it will be a number. But when you match on number, actually inside, it'll be a U32 or an I32. So you can use this to, uh, to actually get m multiple types depending on, uh, on what you want uh, that, you know, to, to have inside your vec. Because uh, as far as rest concerned, this is a vec of the same type uh, every single time so it's uh i'll show you how this works so we will uh let's make a function called uh, get number and uh, this is going to let's see it's going to take a number and it's going to give us a this uh this enum number and then uh so we're going to match uh input and there is something called is positive. This is a method for uh, for integers in Rust. All, all of the integer types have it, and uh, it just tells you is it positive or not. And so we can say if it's true, we're going to return a number u32 because uh, we want let's say we want our positive numbers to be uh, to be uh, unsigned integers, and then uh, we will take the the input here will give it. Uh, there we go. We will give it this data. So we'll take this input and put it in here, and we cast it to a U32 because you know it starts out as an I32. We make it into a U32 so that it can hold it. And then uh, the next one, if it's false, then it's number I32 and uh, input, and we don't need to cast it because it's already an I32 here. And uh, yeah, this will return the number. And then we go down to here and let's uh, let's make a vec. And we will give it some numbers. So uh, we'll give it uh, get number uh, minus 800. And then we will also uh, give it uh, get number eight. So this will be a vec of number. And this one will be of this uh, this variant, and this one will be of this i32 variant because it, or the other way around. This will be a positive number. This will be the i32. This will be the u32. That's what I meant to say. And so uh, we'll go for I item in my vec, and we will match it, match item, and then uh, actually let's import. Let's use number because this is convenient. So we can take this out. Uh, so if it's a U32, we will say um, it is a U32 with this value. And we are going to uh, print that out. Let's see. That's right. I forgot to. Give that variable a name, and then uh, if it's an i32, and we say it is an i32 with this value, and let's make sure that this works. Let's see, whoops, true and false, not true and true. There you go. 
So we have successfully given a uh, a vec. We have made a vec that can actually secretly hold both a, an IA32 and a U32 by using a, a uh, an enum, and that is, uh, I think, pretty cool.